I am assuming that you have attempted the question on and are well aware of the question. So let's consider a case where the person was stationary at A, right? And say P where the bomb is exploded is to the left of A. Now it doesn't matter how far P is. So one common error that happens is people understand that 40 minutes to be the time taken from place of explosion to A. It is not so. The sound does not take 40 minutes from P to A. 40 minutes is the interval between the explosions. So the explosion might be taking very far away. So assuming somewhere very far away to the left, the uh, bombs are exploded and the sound wave travels and they reach me. 40 minutes is the interval between the bombs, right? Having cleared this confusion, let's see. So at A, the person is standing still and two sound waves start traveling and reach him and this is the time where he hears the first explosion. The first wave has reached him. So he can hear that the first explosion. Let's start a stopwatch from this moment. So if we start it, after the first explosion, the sound waves continue and now I hear the second explosion. And the time interval between the first and the second one is 40 minutes as seen in the stopwatch. So in this 40 minutes, the second wave has covered a distance as seen on the screen from certain point to A. Right? However, the case is that the person is moving away. So let's consider the person was moving away. Right? A is the place where he hears the first sound. Right? So again, the sound waves are coming from behind somewhere and he hears the first one at A. Right? Let's start our stopwatch from now onwards. So we begin our stopwatch. There is a second sound wave somewhere behind. So focus on the second sound wave. Start and the second sound wave comes and I hear the second one now. In between, I have also walked ahead, right? The man, right? So in the stopwatch, we see the time interval between the first, uh, hearing the first explosion and hearing the second explosion is 41 minutes. So we can say that in 41 minutes, the second wave has covered a distance as seen on the screen. Now it's obvious out of a year uh, that the sound wave covers the distance AB in one minute. Right? And uh, we need to find the distance. Distance is nothing but speed into time. The speed of sound is 331 meters per second. Time is one minute, that is 60 seconds. Multiplying it gives us the distance AB. It's as simple. 